Hey guys, my name is Nazar and in this tutorial I'll show you how I render hair with Blender Cycles. The first step is setting up the hair systems for render. In the render panel, the steps are responsible for quality of the hair. Because the nape hair is partly visible, I'm gonna change it to 6 and others, which are more visible and long, to 7. Now I'm gonna set the amount of children for rendering. So the key hair I'll change to 200, because I don't want them to be too dense, the crown hair to 300, or even more if you want, the side hair I'm gonna change to 300 as well, and the nape hair to 200. The next step is Cycles hair settings. To make a quick render test, I'm gonna press Ctrl B and select the right area. Then change it to the viewport shading on rendered. Now I'll change the shape to negative 0.7, and as you can see, the ends of the hair got thicker. Now I'm gonna copy this well into other systems, with the exception of the key hair, negative 0.5. Next I'm gonna adjust the thickness, so that these are temporary changes for testing, and I want it to render fast. I'm gonna change the root to 0.25 for the side hair, 0.30 for the nape hair, 0.25 for the crown hair, and 0.20 for the key hair. When I'm gonna render it finally, I'll change these values to 0.1 or 0.08. Now it's time for creating a material for the hair, so I'm gonna open the node editor. Next I'm gonna press Shift A and add color armed node. And the worn node texture. So if I render it now, it has this multi-colorful look. For the color choice, I found this kind of lavender palette. Now I'm gonna sample color from the image to the color ramp node from bright to dark. I'm also gonna add one more saturated color in between. Next I will change the scale value to 60. Now I want to make the roots darker. In order to do so I'm gonna add Mix RGB node and fill the bottom socket with a dark color. Next, I need to add one more color amp node, as well as hair info node. And then connect intercept to factor. So if I render it now, it has this nice gradient. Next, I'm gonna flip the color amp node and play with the color positions so it suits the hairstyle. For the softer gradient, I'll change linear interpolation to bisplane. Now it's time to give some life to the hair. I'm gonna add mix shader and hair bsdf node. Next, I'm gonna change the roughness to 0.5. Now I connect the color to reflection. As you can see, it is very saturated, therefore, I add hue saturation value node. Now 
Now I increase the value so it was brighter. Also I reduce the saturation. Next I'm gonna add one more hair BSDF node and change her reflection to transmission. Now I copy the hue saturation value node and change it a bit so it was more brighter and less saturated. So the hair material is basically done, now I'm gonna show how to quickly change the hair color. I'm gonna add RGB curves node and only by changing the curve shape, in one second I've got the whole different color. Here is the final result. Thank you for watching, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comments.